Hey, this is Joe, and I wanted to do a follow-up video on the uh, carbon fiber skinning of the uh, the tail light assembly. Uh, I originally used the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch uh, 2X Ultra Cover Gloss Clear, and what I found out is that after 48 hours of uh, letting this cure, that's what the rec uh, the recommended uh, directions indicated, uh, the paint shrunk down on the carbon fiber and it didn't look as good. And then I shot it another six coats and it did the exact same thing. So uh, I don't know what uh, Rust-Oleum, uh, what type of paint this is. I looked on the back of the can and they're, and they're not saying. So what I did was I sanded down uh, the finish again with uh, 320 grit. And then I came in with a Verithane Spar Urethane. Uh, this is uh, oil-based. You may be able to get oil-based uh, in your location. Uh, certain parts of California, you can't get oil-based. You have to get the uh, waterborne. But anyway, get the... Uh, the Verifane Spar Urethane, and uh, I put uh, five coats on. I let it cure for 48 hours. Then, um, if there's any uh, minor bumps or pinholes, which there more than likely will be, you want to sand it down lightly uh, with 400 grit to remove any of those imperfection pinholes, bumps, etc. Then what you want to do is take and start out with, as I said, 400, work yourself out up to 800 grit, 1200 grit, and then 2000 grit. And then once that's sanded and all the imperfections are out of the surface, then get yourself some uh, ultra cut compound and then go through and polish that with the ultra cut compound that will remove um, and start to gloss in the finish back up after you get a really nice finish with the ultra cut then come in with a ultra finishing polish and buff that out really well and as you see here uh, and I purposely set this uh, tail light assembly up, so, up on a couple boxes so you could see the finish at an angle. Uh, now it's looking really good. So, again, I had trouble with the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch paint. Uh, it shrunk down over the carbon weave, and it, uh, it almost made it to where you could actually see the weave through the uh, finish. So I didn't like that. Sanded it off redid it with the spar urethane and at least four or five coats let it sit for two days then you can start your sanding routine 400 800 1200 2000 and then come in with your polishing compounds first day like an ultra cut compound and then an ultra finishing compound and as you can see here the polish and the finish is really smooth uh, there's no pit uh, pits or holes or bumps on the finish so uh, I again I wanted to make this as a follow-up video so that in case you ran into this or you run into the same problem you'll know how to fix that so thanks for watching we'll see you next video